time to roll through what has happened so far here in week 15. You know, we keep talking about uh, this Ravens team is holding on to the sixth seed because they are. But depending on the outcome of this Pittsburgh-New England game, Michael, they could be in first place in the North and go in as a division champ. How crazy would that be? <laughs> but this is a team, you know, Lamar Jackson, they leaned on him today, only a little bit over 100 yards passing the ball. But the best thing, the thing he does, does well, he runs the ball. He extends the drives, and he keeps you off balance on defense. And it's a frustrating thing to have a quarterback who's mobile because you can't prepare for just one thing with him, and it's a backbreaker when he makes runs like that. They did such a great job of controlling the clock over 37 minutes on offense with the ball. That wear the defense down, and it's very hard to, to, to beat if a team If you'll like notice that. in his running there, you'll notice they were in man coverage both times on those yes. scrambles. Pulls mm -hmm. it right down. Teams that are going to stop him, Tony, are going to have to probably adjust and either spy with a fast guy or play zone. The, the only thing that concerns me about him, it, 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 I said it on the earlier show, it's like you're chopping, chopping wood, chopping down a tree. I don't know if you guys ever chopped down a tree, but you don't get it down after that first hit. But if you keep hitting it and keep hitting it, you know, I, I feel like it's a matter of not if, it's when. I hope he's – I think he'll stay uh, healthy throughout You're the rest of the season, though. Staying and I have – Yeah, stay and get hurt. I'm just I've talking about getting the hurt. Tree you chopped the tree down yes, before? Yes, I have. I don't know. Yeah. It's, you have a it's, wood splitter it's, it's, you used to as well? <laughs> wood splitter, look at you. Yeah. 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 Hey, I got a wood splitter. I've, well, done, I've done the wood splitter. Power or gas? No, gas. Okay, of course. Of That's course. the way to go. Yeah. Howie, let's get back to more important things like the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> and Indianapolis Colts. Indy is on a roll right now. But Dallas got shut out for the first time, we said, since 2003. Was mm -hmm. today's performance more about Dallas or more about Indy? A little bit of both. Uh, you know, Indy has really, you know, they started out, what, one and one, one and five. One and five. Uh, Frank Reich doing a remarkable job there. We were talking about who's the coach of the year. Is it Matt Nagy? Is it, is it Frank Reich? The job he's done there. I would say Nagy in Chicago, given the young quarterback and, and what that title means to that organization. <clears throat> they found their run game today. The defense has, over the last four or five weeks, has really come on. Marlon Mack today... 100, Amazing. 139 yards on yep. the ground. And, and I, I think he sold luck on this style of offense. Get the ball out. Don't hold it. Don't take the big hits. Run the football. Play good defense. They're tough at home. What they did to a very good defense today is pretty remarkable. And that Indianapolis defense was remarkable today, too, shutting Dallas out. Missed opportunities for Dallas across the board. I'm not surprised you said Chicago. Well, we have to I know. I'm just saying yeah. about, you know, but Indy, Indy, I got to say, I mean, what a game by these guys. This is a team you, you don't, you, you know them, but you don't know them. You don't know what to expect, but they're on this winning streak, and you're still going, hmm, are they for real? Obviously, they are. Coach has done a great job with this team, and on the other side for Dallas, the inconsistencies out of that entire division. Winning some games, making it look like, hey, we got this. And next thing you know, dropping some games that they should win. And Drop. plays like that, you have to catch that ball. Those are momentum-changing plays, points off the board. And I just think when they went for it on fourth down and didn't get it, that was a tempo setter for the rest of their day in Dallas, right. for, for Dallas. Yeah. Go, well, I think if you look at that offense, as far as Dallas is concerned, Cooper's been the big guy, the big play guy. You take him out the game, you can, you can do that on defense. You put two guys on Cooper, and you say, hey, you know, if we can just jump out and contain Zeke, you know, don't let him go off for 107 yards, which is what he's been mm -hmm. averaging over the last five uh, games. Uh, you, that's a recipe to beat this team, and it's going to be tough on, on uh, the quarterback, Dak Prescott. He's not a guy that can come from behind. You build a lead on, these, on this Dallas Cowboys uh, team, it's going to be very tough for them and to close that gap. You saw him go through his progress. You saw Prescott today. Now, he went through his progressions. There was nobody open, guys. Mm -hmm. He went to one and two but that's and a three to and then the, sack, yeah. then the sack. He didn't try to run. He stayed in the pocket because he had plenty of time to throw. There was nobody open. Elliott gets going early. Then he gets dinged up when he jumped over the guy. I thought he got hurt on that play. Remember yeah, when he yeah, jumped? Right. I thought he Very got hurt the then. Then he got yeah. hurt later. They weren't the same football team. And I'm disappointed in Dallas for one reason. I thought with the run they had going and with the, with the confidence they had built up, I thought they would go into Indianapolis and I thought they would take care of business because no. I thought they were that strong a football team, mm -hmm. especially after Jerry, the way Jerry they handled Jerry with New Orleans. They wouldn't look at themselves the same way after the New Orleans game, meaning yeah. that they would believe in themselves. This didn't look like a team well, you know, in the New Orleans that understood game, the significance of the moment. Right. They were so physical in, yep. that, in, the, in the Saints game, and today 
reversed. And the also, physical part this is the first it. time they played on the road in a while. They had three straight home games when they got oh, things home. rolling. Now all of a sudden they're on the road and things slowed down just a little bit, but they're still in control of their own destiny for winning the NFC East. Bears clinched the NFC North. Congratulations, Chicago. 24-17 over Green Bay. What a clean day for Trubisky. Look at that, 20 of 28, two touchdowns. He, in his second season, brings the Bears their first division title in eight years. All right, Howie, you take a look at this team. They were 5-11 and 11 last year in last place, changed head coaches, second-year quarterback, and now they've got the division wrapped up with two games left and double-digit wins already. Yeah, and it's a, obviously an innovative offense. And Tariq Cohen, we, we were marveling at mm -hmm. him today, both as a receiver and as a returner. Dynamic, a great bounce-back game for Mitch Trubisky. But this centers on defense. And, it, and it's only appropriate that it's defense, it's in Chicago, it's at home versus Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers. It's poetic justice, I really believe. I mean, five sacks today uh, on Aaron Rodgers, who's one of the most mobile quarterbacks best that's extending the plays. But... You know, it's interesting. Before the season, if you would have said the Bears are going to clinch the division, even if, especially at this point, you would have said there's no way it's going to happen. But it just goes to show how much just one little change with a young quarterback who everyone was surprised they moved up in the draft to get in the first place is kind of proving that they knew what they were doing. And you put them with the right coach, with the right players around him, you bring in Mac, add a little piece here and there, and this team now good is game. good yeah. running game. And it's, it, this, this team is completely... <laughs> Um, uh, more than what we ever imagined for them to be this season. And this is a young team. They got a lot, a lot of years ahead of them if they can keep this core together. Yeah, but you saw that looking at the highlights right there. You look at defense. I mean, Khalil Mack, oh. Akeem Hicks, mm -hmm. who I think is the second best defensive tackle next to Aaron Donald. Uh, that is recipe for success going to the playoffs. If you don't turn the ball over, Mitchell Trubisky, run the ball with that Thunder and Light and Howard and Tariq Cohen, and then you hold opponents to 24 points or less, which is what that defense is doing. They've won every game this season. So, looking forward, the Bears are a dangerous, dangerous football team. And another cool yeah. moment happened right Eddie, after the Eddie game. Ja Eddie Jackson got dinged at the end of the game off the interception trying to slide. That's, that's something to look at. This is a cool moment after the game. Charles Leno Jr., the offensive lineman, proposed to his girlfriend. She Aww. did say yes, so maybe <laughs> Mr. Leno will get two rings this year. Well, you think <laughs> anybody asks a woman to marry him that he knows she's not going to say yes? Well, I've heard of it. Have you well, heard? Oh, I, I, right now, I think he got caught up in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Gonzalez, quick final thoughts. Uh, just talk about the uh, Minnesota Vikings right there. Dalvin Cook had a huge game running the, running the ball. If they can do that, they can get back into the playoff race, which I think they certainly are. And that's when Kurt Cousins is at his best to me. And they found the recipe for, for that success today. Oh, oh me. Oh, I'm, you know, I think for me, it's just the, the, the Cowboys and how they were just dominated today. They didn't put any points up on the board. This is a team expecting so much for, especially leading that division. So uh, Indianapolis Colts, great, great game by them. It's not all about just the Cowboys. You too. We'll hear from you next week on the pregame show. Sunday. We love you, Howie. Noon Eastern. <laughs> you too, Fox Terry. NFL kickoff, 11 Eastern.